dear brothers and sisters, while traveling by flight to India a couple of months ago, I picked up a conversation with um, uh, my co-passengers. One was a Muslim woman, and the, the other man, he claimed himself to be an atheist. So this uh, atheist said, I don't believe in God. God is the reason for all violence. I did not find anything new in his uh, two contradicting statements. If, if he blames God for the violence, he must, uh, he must believe that there is a God. According to scripture, a fool says in his heart that there is no God. However, scripture also says Jesus claimed he is from God. Famous historians like uh, Josephus wrote about Jesus as a person in history. Historians through ages have checked and counter-checked the people, places, and cultural context of the Gospels with these in other historical sources and found them consistent. People who have been healed following prayer to Jesus have recognized his supernatural power which supports his claim to be alive and interested in humans today. Like the Jews in the gospel for today, we too can be prejudiced and occasionally refuse to accept and follow the teachings of Jesus. We need to have the humility to honor his teaching, authority of the church and its guidance by the Holy Spirit, even when we are faced with rejection in our context. Though at times upsetting, according to our human standards, we need to accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior. Imitating the saints of our time, we need to reach our hands to Jesus and be ready to walk in his ways together with all those people of goodwill, experiencing little miracles of his supernatural power in our families. Jesus will lead you and your family toward a future full of hope. Let us turn to him.